Hi guys, Cliff here. Uh, this is part four of the Fultz E1 build. Uh, today I'm going to be tissue covering the uh, structure. I'm going to start with the fuselage and I'm going to cover it first with cling film. Uh, very little weight gain, transparent, doesn't add anything to the structure other than puncturability. Uh, as I shall be handling the fuselage and the lesser extent the wings um, it'll give it that just that little bit more strength and I'm going to be also doing the wings with cling film but not the tail that can be tissued sorry that can be tissued directly and then when that is finished then I can attach it to the fuselage so without further ado let's bend you down and carry on my PVA all mixed up it's about 50-50 and I've got some cling film. So first thing is to put a bit of PVA on the structure and see if uh, this stick does the trick. Might have thinned it down too much, we'll see. Of course you've got to give the structure a nice, just go over it really carefully with a, um, some fine sandpaper because it's too late once you start putting the covering on. Smooth it on with my finger, I think. A bit down here. So let's just lay it on like that. Try not to move it once you've got it on, other than stretching it out. It's not as delicate as it looks, by the way. A bit of static there. So just pull it tight, tight as you can get it, like that. Just using the weight of the blade to cut it, no point in cutting into the bolster at all. Okay. Just the weight of the blade. Okay, so that's one side complete. Oops, just completed the top piece, fourth side. So we'll let that dry and then commence the tissuing. First thing on the wing, you do the underside. And it'd be a good idea to actually put it down on the work surface once I've done it. Now I'm gonna go around the corner a little bit. We position this just there and we'll just drag it over and stop. Just give it a little pull. Could go up tight on this because it's got a large area that it's glued to, so it's not going to pull off. Okay. You'd have thought PVA would stick plastic film. Look at that, it's a wing. And that finishes that wing tip, a uh, wing rather, um, for now. While the tailplane's drying, there's always something you can get on with. It's the rudder. You can put the tissue on wet. If it's a very light structure, I would suggest doing what Doyle Blevin does, and that is to hang the tissue up, spray it, and let it dry completely. And this pre-shrinks it a little bit, so when you put it on your delicate structure, doesn't shrink as much as it would have done. It'll still shrink, just not as much. Uh, but with all these things, if you're not sure what you're doing or you're not sure about a particular um, product on a particular sort of frame, just make up a little secondary frame and put your finish on it. Tissue it for practice 
o tissue it and try different dope try no dope just try um, clear lacquer like I use sometimes or different paints whatever it is you're experimenting on let's make up a little frame and experiment that's the easiest way to see what's going to happen to the products you bought and gives you a bit of practice in, in the uh, in the meanwhile which is always good so while they're drying guys I'm just going to look at the fuselage one thing worth mentioning I said earlier the um, cling film will tighten out a little bit with heat I'll just give it an even heat and it's one of those things where nothing happens or not a lot seems to happen until you take it away and then as if by magic it tightens out I think I'll, I'll tissue it now I've gone easy on it because there's I can see there's a little bit of white glue there it hasn't dried clear yet which means it's not dry yet but that was a demonstration for you I could do the uh, big wing while I've got it here hang on let's just I can watch that too while I've got it weighed down I was hoping the bottom would go as well with the heat of it but it's not it's not that not getting that warm so I'll have to do the underneath when I lift it but tightens out beautiful so shall we um shall we tissue the uh, fuselage now I'm only going to glue the outside edge I'm not going to glue it anywhere inside the dope will take care of that so let's just use my special applicator which is my finger I'm going to put it on the plastic first because it's going to soak into the balsa wood and dry pretty quick smooth out any air bubbles take it down and across give it a little tug if this was a fuselage that had some big curves in it then maybe I put, might put the tissue on wet to get it to go round as it hasn't um, another reason to put it on dry okay doke that's the bottom bit tissued and I'll crack on with the rest and I'll come back to you shortly got some ingrain here I'm going to try and go over there in one go but we'll see a bit of ingrain there oops too much let's get it spread out a bit sheet a bit first and uh, see how we get on Move it out. I want it to sort of soak into there a bit. Into there, get that tucked in. Might dampen. There you are, see, damp it and it'll go around funny bends quite nicely. This bit here. What you can do, you can tear it if you want. Um, if you tear it, you get a a fibre edge which is a lot easier to disguise than a cut edge let me demonstrate I've demonstrated it before in other videos but save you having to go and look so what I'm going to do is just pull it because it's wet with glue don't forget I've done the bottom piece so this is going to I'm left with tiny little tissue fibres but it's got to be wet to do this, wet with glue of course or wet with water so I'm going to go up to here because I want it to tuck around onto the 
bare balls to there, so I don't want it to rip any further than there. So I'll just finish that off. Okay, one side done. I've been called for tea, so I'll come back to that shortly. Okay, I'm back. As far as you're concerned, I never went away, but as far as I'm concerned, I've had my tea. I was just looking at this, it's some. Um, bottom bit's gone on really smooth. I'll spray it with water, that'll tighten the tissue out. Make sure you spray all four sides, else you'll in, could it possibly induce a warp. I'm going to tissue this wing. It's got cling film on it. So let's crack on. Just gonna do the outer edge on this. Here we go. Lay it on there. Just like that. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's do what we did before, turn it over and tighten it out. Cool, I'll tell you what, now this tissue's on the wing. That looks really stunning. Oh, love it. All right, there's plenty of glue on there, so now I'm going to damp it. I just want that to rip where it is. Let's put some more on there. Yep, just passing company. Look guys, really simple, really simple. When I say guys, of course, I mean guys and gals. You're all included, the fairer sex. Probably make a much better job of it than most blokes. We're just bulls in a china shop, really. We haven't got that finesse. Let's go around a little bit further. I've got myself four little treats lined up. I can have a piece of chocolate every time I've done a wing. That's why I'm hurrying. It's my treat. Hi guys, a couple more minutes have passed. I've now done the second wing. So I'm going to now damp the first wing and weigh it down and we'll have a look at the tailplane and rudder and fuselage, see how it's drying. The spray pattern on this is such that it's, if you just spray it one way and not the other, it doesn't get an even coating. Now, with the tissue in a wet stage, wet state I should say it's very very vulnerable so put it down don't touch it so I'm gonna put a couple of weights on it uh, that one there one up here one down there that's the important one because I'm trying to get a, a slight twist going in the in the wing itself so I'll call it quits for tonight, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, my subscriber count is climbing uh, quite rapidly. So thank you to all you guys who've subscribed. Uh, still a bigger proportion of people watch my videos who don't subscribe. Um, if you subscribe, it helps the algorithm and it helps YouTube to promote my channel um, on the homepage and what have you so more people can get to see how to build model airplanes. So it doesn't cost anything. Hit the little subscribe button just down below and certainly hit the little thumbs up button because that also helps the algorithm. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, cheers, bye. I've, um, so what I've done, I've put the tissue of the front half black and I've been putting tissue on the rear end of the fuselage 
around the corners. Coming on, one to go. So I'm just doping the wings now, guys. Uh, spin down and just gonna throw it on and it's gonna react with the cling film like it did before. A sort of strange ruckling going on underneath. But I'm not gonna worry about it because Came out all right, and the tiger morph. Oh. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to sit that on the bear for a second and open the window a bit more. So, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just uh, sticking on some German crosses. Just printed out a sheet at the size I wanted, pinned it through onto a bit of artboard, and then used that as a template to cut out crosses. So that's what I've ended up with. I'm just sticking them on with PVA, my favourite to medium, watered down, of course. And that goes just about, just about there. What I'm doing is one side at a time. Put some PVA on, spread it about. What I find best to do is to put it down wet. So I just lick my finger just to put it down and then doing it that way you get uh, getting the air bubbles out. There you are, quite simple. Okie dokie. It's the wing crosses on, done this one just now. So it's looking very nice. Set those to one side there to dry and I've got the tail plane to do. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to start with underneath and then I can sort of practice my technique on the smaller ones. Okay, elevator's done. We'll let that dry off completely. And that just leaves the pair on the fuse off side. And the very last one. So that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve crosses in all. I love the sound as well. Of lovely, isn't it? It's gonna go. Yeah, not too bad. That's the mask and tape on that one wing. I'll do the other one, then we'll get some paint on and see how it comes up. Right, I've masked up this using very thin masking tape. Just ordinary masking tape stripped down. And I'm gonna plop on some matte black. Yeah, it covers on this doped surface. In fact, I want to uh, paint on the cutting mat. If it leaks under this, it's going to be a bit of a mess, I'm afraid. Let's set that off to one side and uh, look at a wing. It's going on quite thinly. Um, I can only imagine it is because of the dope. So we'll second coat it. Okay, just broke my glasses. <laughs> They've had it. Right, shall we have a look then? Shall we have a look 
Uh, let's put on there. Let's see what we're doing. Let's see what's happening there. Oh, well, that looks all right. I did have a little problem on that corner there, didn't I? So that's acceptable. That's okay. That's nice. Oh yeah, because I use tissue on the elevators, so it looks a little bit heavier, but there you go. Oh hum. Let's have a look at the wing then. Here we go. You ready? So far so good, so far so good. Not bad corner. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Yes, that looks okay. Now this one, being the top one. Oops, oops, sticky, sticky. Let's try that one there. And around the bend, that's not too bad. Yes, okay. Ah. I like it. That's nice. A <laughs> little bit of bleed in here and there. But overall, yeah, nice. I like it. Right, let's get doping. Let's just put that out of the way. What I'm going to do is just to wipe out some of the dope on the brush just so as I can put on a thin coat. Looks okay. Okay, that's it I think. Both sides of the fin. What a lovely little aeroplane. I'm so pleased I built it. So pleased Pete thought of me when he had the spare kit. Have a look. Sarex website. Order yourself one up. I've got the link in the description. And you too. And have a lovely little First World War false. E1. I wonder what E stood for. Experiment? Could be. Very similar to the Fokker E1. It's harder to say. Okay, there it is, guys. That's that. Put that up there. Thanks for looking in, as usual, and I'll see you uh, in the next. Um, part of the build. See ya.